The attorney for a woman who accused Father Robert Valancourt of sexually assaulting her as a teenager says his client is disappointed, but she's determined to get justice after the Catholic Church cleared him of the allegations. The longtime priest will return to his duties within the Roman Catholic Diocese of Portland after being on administrative leave since July of last year. And as News Center Maine's Vivian Lee shows us, one of the alleged victims plans to file a civil lawsuit under a law that allows survivors to pursue claims against their alleged abusers. Yeah. Yeah. Attorney Mark Randall represents one of the two women who accused Father Robert Valancourt of sexual abuse in the 1980s. Attorney Randall says the conclusion of the internal investigation clearing Valancourt was shameful. They're really invalidating, we're trying to invalidate these victims' claims you know, publicly. Last September, News Center Maine spoke exclusively to Randall's client, who came forward after being silent for 39 years. The alleged victim, who did not want to be identified, told us she was just 15 when Valancourt allegedly sexually assaulted her in the basement and in the rectory of the former St. Andre's Catholic Church in Biddeford. She says Valancourt was in charge of the youth program and had befriended her. And I felt like I trusted him and and then eventually he raped me. According to the Maine Catholic Diocese, interviews with 30 individuals and reviews of records and documents did not find evidence that the alleged events occurred. The Diocese of Portland's Review Board upheld the findings and cleared Valancourt, who had been on administrative leave, to return to ministry services. Randall's client filed statements with both the Biddeford Police Department and Maine Catholic Diocese investigators, but she didn't participate in the investigation because she believed it would be a one-sided process. They are eyewitnesses to their own crime. No. Paul Kendrick of Survivor Voices victims. is an outspoken advocate for victims of clergy sex abuse and calls the decision to reinstate Valancourt a travesty. But he says the two women can file a civil claim against the longtime priest under a new main law that removed the statute of limitations for survivors of child sexual abuse. In the civil courtroom, uh, he will be called to the witness stand. As for Randall's client, she's even more determined to get justice in the civil court system. Disappointment, but uh, conviction, you know, to see it through. She's not backing down? No. Randall says there are plans to file a civil lawsuit against Valancourt and the Roman Catholic Diocese of Portland, but he is not saying when. In Portland, Vivian Lee, New Center, Maine. It's unclear what kind of investigation, if any, police did into the allegations against Valancourt. According to the Portland Diocese, he'll be returning to active ministry effective immediately, but he has not yet been assigned to a new post.